Hello and welcome to a video that will walk you through how to record manufacturing transactions using the actual cost method. After viewing this video, you will be able to identify the journal entries made by the financial accountant, record the adjusting entries to move product costs out of expense accounts, and record the movement of costs from work in process to finished goods to cost of goods sold. The financial accountant records the purchase of direct materials, direct labor expense, and all manufacturing overhead expenses incurred during the period. Direct materials is recorded as inventory and direct labor and manufacturing overhead are recorded as expenses. All product costs should be recorded as inventory until sold to the customers. The managerial or cost accountant moves the cost of direct materials, direct labor, and manufacturing overhead to work in process an inventory account. These costs are then moved to finished goods when the product is completed and then on to cost of goods sold when the products are sold. Let's take a look at the entries made to record manufacturing costs by the financial accountant. The financial accountant records direct materials purchased to an inventory account, direct labor works and is recorded as an expense, and manufacturing overhead costs incurred are recorded also as an expense. The managerial or cost accountant makes adjusting entries at the end of the period to move product costs to work in process so they are not expensed in the period incurred. This follows the matching principle. The amount of the journal entry is always the actual cost. The cost in work in process are moved to finished goods when the products are completed. These same costs are moved to cost of goods sold when products are sold to customers. Let's look in detail at the direct materials account. Picture this account as the item sitting on the shelf in the direct materials warehouse. Purchases are added and materials are moved to the production line, which decreases the account. The ending balance is reported on the balance sheet. All product costs are recorded in the inventory account work in process. The ending balance is determined by estimating the value of goods still remaining on the production line. The difference is the cost that was finished during the period. These costs are moved to finished goods. Finished goods is the third inventory account. Beginning is the value of the goods ready for sale at the beginning of the period. Cost of finished products are taken from the work in process account and moved to the finished goods account. The ending balance is determined by counting and valuing the goods remaining in the warehouse at the end of the period. The difference is the cost of goods sold to customers moved to cost of goods sold. Cost of goods sold is the cost of producing all the goods sold to customers during the period, just as it sounds. The balance is reported as an expense on the income statement. Take a moment and read through the information and the transactions before we walk through this example. The first transaction, materials purchase, is recorded by the financial accountant just as any other asset purchased. The second transaction is the adjustment made by the managerial accountant to record the direct materials moved to the production line. The third transaction records the use of supplies. Supplies are indirect materials and are part of manufacturing overhead. The financial accountant records the use of supplies and the managerial accountant moves this cost to inventory. The next transactions record direct labor worked on the production line and the cost of manufacturing management. These costs are manufacturing overhead. The first entry is made by the financial accountant and the second entry is made by the managerial or cost accountant to move the cost to be part of inventory. The next entry for rent is recorded the same way as the last transaction since it is also a manufacturing overhead account. Transactions 7 and 8 are period cost. The financial accountant records period cost.
Other manufacturing overhead costs, such as utilities or janitorial expenses, are recorded as an expense by the financial accountant and move to work in process at the end of the period. Salesperson salary expense is a period cost and is recorded as an expense by the financial accountant. The direct materials account will increase with purchases and decrease when materials are moved to the production line. The ending balance is reported on the balance sheet. The subtotal to make products is the cost of direct materials, direct labor, and manufacturing overhead added together. All product costs were moved to the work in process account. Beginning inventory is finished first. The cost of making products that is remaining on the production line at the end of the period is $600. The difference in what is left on the production line and the total cost is the cost of goods that were completed and moved to the finished goods warehouse. The cost of goods completed during the period is moved into the finished goods account with the last entry. This is added to the beginning value to get goods available for sale. The difference in the goods available to sale, sell and the value of finished goods at the end of the period is the cost of goods sold to customers. After viewing this video, you should be able to identify the journal entries made by the financial accountant and record the adjusting journal entries made by the managerial accountant to move product cost out of expense accounts. You should also be able to record the movement of cost from work in process to finished goods to cost of goods sold.